Are you tired of going to the gym and seeing those same faces? The same exercises done over and over again, you're stuck in a rut, or maybe you don't even have a gym membership, but you still want to get buff. Well, we're here for you. Guns, shields, abs, and wheels. Done right here at home, with two chairs and a broomstick. And no, we're not playing musical chairs or Harry Potter's footage. This is going to be serious. So get ready to build that buff dude's physique right here at home with the Buff Dude at Home Workout. Let's get started. We're gonna start this workout off with the Bulgarian split squats, plyometric style. So what you do is put a chair right behind you, put one foot up on the chair, the other one flat footed on the ground. You're gonna be squatting down, getting a nice stretch in the opposite quad, pushing off with the leg on the ground, jumping at the same time. There's a lot to this one. There's gonna be balance. There's also gonna be work in the glute, the quad, a little bit in the hamstring and some of the calves. So with the plyometrics, you're using force and power to lift your body off the floor and then absorbing the pressure, decelerating the body once you hit the ground. So this is gonna take a lot of force, it's gonna take a lot of energy, meaning calories, and it's gonna get those legs pumped. Now that we got the wheels down, we're gonna hit the road and move on to some shields. Posterior shields, meaning back. So we're gonna start off with the inverted row. You're gonna put the chairs facing each other and hang that broomstick right in between. You're gonna put an overhand grip, a little wider than shoulder width, and you're gonna pull yourself up to the top position and nice slow deceleration down to the bottom, getting a nice stretch in the lats. And then do it over and over again until you build that meat shield. So now that we got that rear shield taken care of, we're only halfway there. It's time to work on the front shield, which is gonna be the chest. And for this exercise, we're gonna do the plyo push-ups which again is using that force to push your body off the floor. So turn those chairs around, make sure those seats are facing each other, a little wider than shoulder width so you can go right in between them. Get in the push-up position and use that force to push your body off the floor all the way up so you can catch yourself on the seats of the chairs. And then jump back down to the lower position, decelerating your body with those muscles, and then start again. Boom. The body weight shoulder press. So what you're gonna do is put your hands a little wider than shoulder, you're gonna do a little handstand right against a wall to help support yourself. You're gonna lower yourself all the way down to the top of the head, and then you're gonna press through the shoulders up into all the way top position. Now these are a little advanced movement, so what you do is if you can't do them, put two chairs together, put your knees on top, and then get in that same similar position by pulling downward, having your head face the floor and doing shoulder presses, but these ones are a little bit more assisted because you're not doing your complete body weight. This particular exercise is gonna be working on those triceps. It's called the body weight tricep extensions. You get in the push-up position, but what you want is your hands right in line with your shoulders. And all you're gonna do is bend in the elbows and not in the shoulder joints. Cause what you're gonna be doing is isolating the triceps. So pretty much act like it's gonna be a skull crusher. The floor is the bar. So you're bending right down, laying your forearms right to the floor and then extending up through the triceps, pushing through the palms keeping your elbows tight to the body, and you're one step closer to building those triceps. Buff dude style. No buff dude physique would be complete without guns. So with this exercise, we're building those, the biceps. These are called the inverted bicep curls. You're gonna pretty much have the same setup as inverted rows, but with a key difference. Now, you're getting in the same position, but with an underhand grip, and it's gonna be closer to the body, about shoulder width. And what you wanna do is pull your body up to the broom handle, but instead of pulling up to chest level, you're gonna pull it up to forehead level. Try to take out the shoulders as much as you can in this exercise, just bending at the elbows. Again, trying to focus and isolate as much in the biceps as possible. Getting a good squeeze at the top position and then bring your body all the way down for a nice stretch in those biceps. Dips, that's right, you can do dips right at home. This is focusing on the chest, the triceps, and the core. So what you gotta do is turn the chairs around so the backs of the chairs are facing each other a little wider than shoulder width. Take your hands, put them on the top of the chairs, and do dips. Simple as that, nice and easy. So the proper form in doing these is gonna be two ways. If you wanna lean forward, you're gonna be focusing a little bit more on chest, letting the elbows flare slightly out to the side. If you wanna focus on triceps, all you do is be a little bit more upright in the body and you're gonna lock out the elbows, getting the full flexion in the triceps. Remember dudes, there's two ways of doing the dips, either for chest or triceps. The isometric leg holds. 
And what you're gonna do is pull the chair slightly apart, the seats facing each other, so that they were a little wider than shoulder width. You're gonna place your palms on top and you're gonna lift the legs straight out in front of you, holding nice and tightly with the abs. This is isometric, meaning it's a hold. You're gonna hold that position for as long as you can. And you might wanna give up, but don't give up. You don't wanna give up, because there's lava down there. If you fall in the lava, you might die. And if you die, then you can't have a great physique. Anyways, you wanna hold as long as you can. In and out. And no, I'm not talking about the popular burger chain here in California. What I'm talking about is the exercise. And what you're gonna do is pull two chairs together, the seats facing each other, making a small bench. Sitting down, balancing the hips on the bench created by the two chairs, and bringing your body all the way back to the stretched position, legs straight, trunk straight, and then you're gonna bring the knees up, bending at the hips, and then crunch in with those abs, and then repeat the process. We just got done with the at-home buff dudes workout, and I gotta say, it kicks your ass, working every part of the body. So next time that you're demotivated or you just don't feel like going to the gym or maybe you don't even have a gym membership and you wanna work those guns, shields, abs, and wheels, try out the Buff Dude at home workout because all you need is two chairs and a broomstick. Damn straight.